If I could add, um, we're in a an age of exploding, explosive uh, technology. It's very similar to 200 years ago at the beginning of the Industrial Revolution. And I believe strongly that we're also beginning of the age of romanticism. I think people are beginning to, and it's going to grow, this rejection and protest against the mechanization, the overwhelming power of big tech. I think people are going to look inward and we're going to see uh, intensely romantic and personal and intense explorations of the psyche of humanity and not of AI generated images or, or text, but of human generated text. So I think we're, we have a job artists of, of every stripe to, to be a part of that wave. It's a counter wave, if you will, to the deadening effect of technology. And I apologize for, for um, ranting or for um, no. it's a good here, point. but I, I strongly believe it. So it's up to you all to, to create a human spirit and to keep the human spirit alive against the deadening forces of, of big tech, you know, mm -hmm. and of AI and all the other technology. We don't reject the technology. We'll use it, but we recognize the risks and the countermeasure is artists of every stripe around the world. We have to understand what's happening and we have to dedicate ourselves doubly to our, to our craft. End of, end of sermon. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. But it, it made me think about uh, Miles Davis for a moment. And, you know, Miles Davis couldn't, you know, back in the bebop era, you know, where, you know, Charlie Parker, um, you know, could play like a thousand miles a second and squeal and screech and, you know, just a virtuoso on his instrument. Miles Davis, like, couldn't play particularly fast, nor could he hit particularly high notes. And he took this and he made cool jazz, you know, this sort of middle tone, so smooth, so rich, you know, this and, and his masterpiece in 1959, Kind of Blue. Yeah. And so AI can perfectly analyze, churn out whatever you want, you know, to sound like Miles Davis, but AI will never be able to have the intelligence to overcome an obstacle, a technical limitation, and then overcome it with a creative solution. I don't see this ever happening. I don't see AI ever being able to, um, you know, solo because soloing is something you do in the moment and it's different every time. And it comes from such a, a deep and powerful place that ha you have to have the heart and you have to have the computer, the computer and the heart and the soul has to all, and then the technical ability, you know, how, how's AI? I mean, AI can't even play a saxophone. What do you want? <laughs> you need, you need lungs. Sorry, AI, you lose. <laughs> All I'm saying. Yes, I don't it's. Maybe think of that, but there it is. It's true because AI is basically trained on already existing material. Ah, That's the point. I can't make a new solo. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Great. It's so good talking to you all. Yeah. Yes. And uh, I guess Pascal, we're gonna stay on, aren't we? We're gonna stay on. Uh, I think there's a different invite, so we'll. Should we go to that one? Might as well, yeah. We're 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 like you know, uh, we're, you know. we're high flying Zoom people here. You we know? know, we know all these invites, and we're we're Zoom royalty. I'm joking. <laughs> we know what buttons to push. We know. <laughs> oh, song title. <laughs> know what buttons I, to push. I'm writing. I'm writing that down. It's too good. <laughs> this is just, you know, natural speech of Pascal, and then I'm like song title. That's gonna <laughs> stay in the podcast. <laughs> But, that's right. <laughs> that, that's on our next record. We know what buttons to push. Yep. It'll be a skiffle. So maybe a skiffle. Rico's <laughs> having fun. Got them Yankees on the run. All aboard, you all.